Oh, this ain't supposed to happen to me. Keep rocking and keep knocking. Whether you lube tying it up or rebocking. You see the hate that they serving on a platter. So what we gon' have? Dessert or dessert? What's up, bird girls? I'm here in Toronto with the one and only Carrie Hilson. How are you today? Hi, hey, I'm good. Just representing ourselves out because I noticed every single video you have like different hairstyles and different looks, <laughs> and it's like it's like I really like it. So Thank how would you, you describe your personal style? Thank you very much. I I like to switch it up. My personal style, it, it's always a good mix between masculine and feminine, yeah. and you can see that by my outfit now. I mean, I'm wearing like these just crazy boots, all disheveled looking, and I throw it with ruffles and. and I love to throw like super feminine things off with something that represents me because I'm a tomboy. I mean, I grew up playing sports and, mm -hmm. and the whole nine. So what sports did you play? Mix. I swam actually for 11 years. I competed for Georgia in the junior nationals when I was 14, mm -hmm. and then I played basketball as well. So don't sleep. I was two years best off in gym, <laughs> and senior year I was MVP. So. Well, I enjoy sports. Sorry, is there something out there that you would like fans to know that no one else really knows about you? They may not know that. I mean, they see like a sexy, um, sometimes scantily clad, heel wearing, you know, tall diva, I guess. But, you know, I mean, they wouldn't know that I'm, I'm really just a tomboy at heart and I'm yeah. comfortable in my own skin, whatever it is I'm wearing. I might show up on a red carpet in pajamas one year, and, you know, that's just it. I just, I mean, I think what's hard about this industry is that a lot of people create this character or a preconceived notion about you and how you are how you are and how you act and things you don't want said to you and you know I'm not distant like that. Like I'm not a calculated person. I really just I, I enjoy meeting people. I love when people walk up to me and say what a song meant to them or whatever it is. Like I'm not a diva at all. I don't plan to ever be. I'm just having fun. What are some of your beauty secrets? Oh my gosh. Well beauty secrets. Secrets. So that would mean, let's see, something that people wouldn't normally do. That you only that, do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to say, concealer has become my best friend lately. I just discovered that last year. So really? Yeah. It really is. It, it really is. Problem. You can just wear concealer. You yeah. don't have to wear foundation. People yeah. think foundation covers everything. You could just wear concealer if it's a good one mm -hmm. and um, get away with that. Or Shampoo on the road. I've, I've figured out that shampoo makes a great alternative to shaving cream. When you're shaving cream. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you condition use the conditioner. I use conditioner. You do? Yes. Conditioner okay. Really Sometimes good. shampoo and conditioner makes a great Together. lather. Yeah. Oh, okay. it depends on the brand, but okay. find one that you know works for you. I like it. It's a cleaner shave. Yeah. You know, you, it's not as messy like you know with all the shaving cream yeah. or whatever. And you can see the hair. You can see what you're doing. You're not just blind shaving like, oh, I hope I'm getting something. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of your um, health secrets? Because staying in shape is kind of important. You're always in the public yeah. and you're always going to get scrutinized. You have a book right now. And right, you know, and absolutely. Yeah. Um, fashion secrets. You got to, spanks is the best thing. I mean, you have to embrace when, when things come out and they, in fashion and beauty, that, that allow you to look more graceful and allow you to look, you know, just your best. So. <laughs> I, I definitely embraced Spanx. I'm not like the advocate for it, but when I want it, when I want to look great in a certain dress, like I just you know, go for it. Why not? We all want to look beautiful. Um, can you tell me who your favorite designer is? My favorite designer, hmm, that's tough. You know that's a hard question. <laughs> yeah. um, I will tell you my favorite store. Okay, fine. fine. <laughs> My favorite store is Urban Outfitters. It has been before, since before, like people knew about yeah. it. Like I, I loved it. And American Apparel. I'm not sure if you get it, guys. Yeah, get we American have Apparel. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I love American Apparel. I love those two because I'm really stimulated by color, and so like visual marketing and all that works on me. So those two stores, there's always something for me. Like <laughs> it's like a candy store. Okay, who's uh, who's your favorite shoe designer? Shoe designer. Hmm. I tell you the one that I really appreciate um, in the past two years is why I sell you say well for making a comfortable stiletto. Like those two were an oxymoron before this one shoe that you see me wear in every different color. <laughs> um, it's like a <clears throat> sorry. It's like an open toe 
platform is stiletto. And it's, it's the most comfortable thing. It just feels like you're walking on jelly or something. Okay, okay. Uh, your favorite perfume? I have a lot of favorite perfumes because I collect perfume. Yeah, I do. I collect perfume. Do you actually finish them all? Because I know I have a lot of perfumes. Um, I finish them because I love, I'm a scent person. I love candles. I love um, potpourri and all these things. I, I love, um, and I light a candle every day of my life and I, I love perfume. So anyway, my favorite perfumes are Dolce & Gabbana The One, Chanel Chance. Um, what do I always go back to? Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb and any variation of Victor and Rolf, I, I seem to like. So those are three of my favorites. Okay, what is your favorite fashion accessory that you always need with you? I always carry a spare pair of earrings. Yeah, you gotta have a spare pair. You never know what might come up and you need yeah, to switch it up. So if I wear a dull pair, then I bring a more glamorous pair in case I end up going out. And then if I'm wearing a glamorous pair, if I wanna dress it down to go eat or something, mm -hmm or whatever, go to the mall, then I take them out, but in my, you know, less flashy set. It's really nice to know the people who are potentially in your position, like, going to become where you are. I always tell people, never compromise your talent, what you feel your talent is, and also do what you're best at. I, I've learned this from, actually, none other than Snoop Doggy Dog, like, Snoop Dogg, said on his reality show actually, he just said it recently and it was profound to me, he said, do what you're great at. Anybody can be good. Everybody can come in, do your job and be good at it, but do what you're great at so that no one can do what you do. And I was like, wow, you know what? That's amazing because a lot of people want to do this for the fame or they want to do it for other, whatever reason it is, but they're not great at it. It's just kind of, they're driven by what it seems to be. And what I've learned about the industry, I've been in it 11 years, since my first deal, and also as a songwriter. Um, much of my journey has taught me that this is not for everybody. This is not something everybody would be able to deal with. So. What's up guys, it's your girl Carrie Hilson, AKA the musical flower child. You are watching birdgirl.com. And our album is called In A Perfect World, in stores this March, guys. So go check it out. Love all my fans, peace.